Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Good news. Good news. Oh, good. I'm ready for some good news. Okay, we got some good news. Are you ready? Okay. Aquaman 2 has finally passed the $100 million mark in the U.S. and it, it's finally beaten the Flash worldwide. But that's sad. I mean, that's what gets me. Like, that, wait, we finally broke a record. We finally hit $100 million. It's like, but that's not good. That's not good. That's not, that's not something to brag about. That's not good. I'm king of the crap. I am king of the crap. Yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about that. Uh, this is probably going to be a relatively short video. There's not much to say. I keep forgetting this movie exists. By his costume, he's the kernels of corn in the crap. Yeah, there's supposed to be scales, but he does. He looks like a corn, a corn on the cob. Uh, the Aquaman, the Aquaman <laughs> costume doesn't really, I guess it's better than orange spandex, but it yeah. doesn't really translate <laughs> to live action very well. Let's, uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com, pick up a copy of Crimson Wren, and previously on Clownfish TV, uh, both of these books are printed, ready to ship, ready to rock. Geeky's been uh, packing them up like crazy. I'm sending a bunch out tomorrow. Sending a bunch out. And uh, yeah, um, it's fun stuff. I mean, getting some good feedback from people. We're going to be doing more books this year. Uh, you got seven days to pick up copies of these. Uh, and then I don't know when they're going to be offered again. Let's just put it that way. So uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, so let's, let's start with this, right? So the first weekend of 2024, the box office is down 18%. Wonka is the biggest movie. But beyond that, the, the, the first of all, let's start with the box office is down 18% for the first week. I mean, it's only the first weekend, but yeah. it's already looking like it's setting up this year for not doing so hot. No. No, okay. I know I know that uh, some theater owners are panicking because they're like, because of the strikes, we don't have a lot of big movies uh, coming out, you know, in the next year or two. And, uh, oh my God, what are we going to do? And AMC, there's something going on with AMC. They were trying to raise some capital, stay in business, and... Yeah, it's not looking too good, but you know, Aquaman's here. Now, Aquaman was supposed to be, that was supposed to be the big one for December. Uh, according to who? According to people. Mm. According to Amber Heard. It was supposed, <laughs> it was, it was it was supposed to be the biggest, the biggest turd in, in December. No, uh, yeah, she had like 11, I guess 11 lines that was it in that movie. But uh, yeah, they finally hit 100 million. That's not good. How long has it been out for? So Aquaman 2 has been out for what? A little over two weeks? No, I just looked it up December 20th. Yeah, it was right before Christmas. came out right before Christmas. So Wonka is... I guess it's not as bad as it could be, but still. Uh, it's not, not good. good. I mean, it should have done that in its first weekend, you know, and it didn't. Um, Wonka won its third out of four weekends with 14 million and 164 million running total. Overall, that's a four-weekend number one streak for Warner Brothers. That's weird because people thought this one was going to bomb hard. Yeah. And I it, did. It's not doing. It's not doing gangbusters. None but of them are. It's better than everybody else, right? Um, talk about Night Swim. They're talking about diversity de diversity demos for Night Swim. For Night Swim. Why is that? I that don't. Next question. How do they know? Like, how do you know? Like, are you like tracking everyone that comes into your theaters? Like, give someone count people. White people come or how many white Latino people are people here? Come or what? You know what I mean? It's like. like Excuse me, excuse me, uh, sir. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't tell. Are you white? Are you a light skinned Latino? Do you mind me asking you that? And also, who do you like to fuck? Yeah, I need to know. know. I've got and a also, survey how here. How do you identify? How do you identify? I need to know. Uh, I need to know uh, for this survey so we can, you know, run to deadline and tell them how many white people were in the theater. <laughs> Come on, uh, Aquaman Lost came number three. Uh, three days did ten million total. 100 million. This is domestic. It's expected to go north of 400 million at the global box office. Yeah, but that's global. But it's 334 million. Flash's global take was only 270 million. The sequel's IMAX numbers were as follows. So it did, you know, IMAX 2.5 million global. <laughs> so basically, we did better. It did better than the Flash, and it didn't do as bad as we, we thought it might do this week. So that's a win. So yeah. It's doing great. A color purple fell off though, because the color purple was like the, the one of the biggest openings, and it just kind of like dropped off a cliff there too. I think so. they're all dropping off a cliff. That's the that's the takeaway for me more than anything is the fact that one they're re-releasing a bunch of movies. They're going to be re releasing movies because they didn't have stuff ready. But two, the box office I don't think is doing well, and it did really not good all last year except for a couple movies like Barbie and stuff like that. And I don't think I don't know how the well this year is going to do either. I think we're seeing a trend. Yeah. So they're saying, well, if you count the global. 
if you count the global box office, Aquaman 2 is, sets the record for the DCEU's highest grossing movie of 2023. That means it did better than The Flash, Shazam <laughs> 2, and Blue Beetle. But again, it's better if the best one of 2023. That's not exactly a win. As we don't get, it's like, okay, we have, we've a turd. We've already polished it a couple of times, but how do we polish it more? Look at the, I've got the shiniest turd. It is the shiniest turd of 2023, guys. It's so shiny. You can't, it outshines our other turds. Yes, but you can polish a turd. People do it. You can I know. Polish I joked dung. about it, but yeah. I'm just saying. It's the, the nicest turd of 2023. That's some... Our biggest and shiniest, guys. That's some... Still a turd. But shiny shit. it's the biggest shit. and shiniest one. The biggest, shiniest, glitteriest turd ever. Uh, well, speaking of which, we'll, we'll talk about Amber Heard's reaction here, too, because we people did like whole videos about this. She didn't say much of anything. No, I, I didn't she understand that. She just was like that. on Instagram, like, yeah, hey, the movie's out. Thanks. Thanks mm, for bye. the support. You Thanks. Bye. And I was, you know, proven to be a lying sack of crap, which we already knew. Uh, Black Adam, they might they might they might catch up to Black Adam, which I keep forgetting exists. Was that wasn't um, that wasn't 2023 though, was it? No, that was but, but just overall, it might come in seventh place of all the DCEU movies. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just like, I just, I can't. The Disney does this too. I know it's a stinker, guys. I know it's not doing well, but you know, if you look at it sideways and squint, and you, you know, leave one eye closed completely, and you tip your head really, really, really hard this way, it looks like it's it's something else. It looks like it's great. <laughs> it's like this is just crazy. Yeah, it's a it's a crapshoot. Why did it, why did it bomb at the box office? Oh my god. The turn uh, jokes just never end. Uh, superhero fatigue, in-house competition. Yeah, Wonka. And the color purple. And the color purple. You yeah. Wonder, okay, let's be honest here. Did anybody think in a million years that a DC movie would, 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 they would consider Wonka and the color purple competition for? No. A couple years ago, would you have ever thought that? No. No. No, because honestly, if, if uh, things were firing on all cylinders, the Marvels would probably still be making money at the box office if it were a good movie. You know? <laughs> Lack of support from critics. Well, that's refreshing. Usually you just blame it on fans. Yeah, right. Like, you guys, I know we can't pay you anymore. We can't afford to pay you, but say nice things. Say nice things about our stupid, shitty movie. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go out and see what Amber Heard had to say. We need to do a whole separate video on this. They had a whole story. Jeremy Dick did a story on Amber Heard. Uh, what did she say? She said, after all this time, Aquaman 2 made a splash. Thank you to my fans and support of Mara's return. Yeah, love and lines. Thank you so much. She's she's juicy for it. Love you. That, that's it. That's that's literally and it. some pictures of her practicing. That was it. I didn't think, I, we didn't cover it because I'm like, there's not enough no. here to even bother with. It's like, thanks for being my fan. The movie's out. Yay. She got, yeah, she she got her role trimmed. Uh, Walter Hamada actually during the Depp trial was like, yeah, we're, you know, she's not, her character's not that good. She's not that important, you know, so they, they trimmed her role. Uh, and that's it. And I'm sure people, I'm sure the Amber Heard stands are going to be out there like, oh, it's because she's not in the movie very much. If she was in it more, people would go see it. No, they wouldn't. Uh, they know she's anti-marketing. So. Hey, 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 there's only so much shit people can take. There's only so much shit. So it's it's over, man. This is just like, this is sad. This is, I think 2024, this is one of those years where, I don't know if it's because it's a leap year or what, because, uh, but this is one of those years where I'm like, I'm not I'm not getting a real good feeling going into this year. Use the leap year. That's the next thing. Aquaman 2 has the best DCEU <laughs> opening year. for a leap year. <laughs> for a leap year movie ever. <laughs> and it's the best... Best box office for February 29th of the past four years. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I would do that. I would actually open a movie on February 29th. Just be like, it's the biggest opening ever for February 29th. Like, open your Disney, open your, your Star Wars Ray movie on February 29th and then be like, it's the biggest February opening, February 29th opening in history. Even if it does like, you know, 20 million bucks opening weekend, <laughs> you can brag about it. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.